Well, I've been waiting to talk to you again, Jacob. <laughs> I think I heard you say 70s. It's good to be the bearer of good news for people that are a fan of the warmer weather, and that is a chance as we get into the end of this upcoming week. But for now, still some wintry weather to talk about. Not going to be a major system for North Dakota, but there are going to be some flakes flying as we go into the overnight and for Sunday for some areas along and south of the interstate. More so towards South Dakota with this system, but temperature is fairly marginal right around that freezing mark, so the snow isn't sticking to roadways as much as it is to grassy surfaces. We do have winds fairly light out there between uh, 5 and 10 miles per hour in uh, variable directions, but you can see on the hour by hour forecast just some light bands of snow here and there along and south of the interstate as we go into our Sunday morning. Much drier air filtering in from the north, uh, allowing for the snow not to reach areas in northern North Dakota. You can see the system get going into Sunday evening, 7 p.m. snapshot. We could see some moderate snow bands around Bowman towards Hedinger, but certainly if you have travel plans on Easter towards the Black Hills and western or central South Dakota, you want to keep this in mind as we go through our Sunday. But for the evening hours, uh, these snow bands won't be terribly persistent. A few more might filter into the area as we get later in the day on Sunday as that system gains a bit more strength down to our south. U.S. 2 corridor, you can see some areas of sunshine as we go through our Sunday with a general light northeast wind. But here's that snow forecast over the next 72 hours, really focused over South Dakota with maybe upwards of six inches or more closer to the Black Hills. Along the North Dakota, South Dakota border, maybe upwards of one to three inches, but not looking for much more than a trace in Dickinson and Bismarck, for example. Overnight lows tonight in the teens and low to middle 20s. Then as we go into our Sunday, look for highs still below normal for this time of year. Mid to upper 30s region wide, more sunshine to the north and towards the east, some low 40s towards the Red River Valley. Here's the big picture setup. High pressure in Canada keeping this system at bay down to our south as it tracks out of uh, Wyoming and towards South Dakota and Nebraska. There will be some heavier periods of snow, so if you have travel plans in South Dakota, keep this in mind. You might want to adjust those for Easter Sunday, but minimal, if any, impacts across North Dakota as this system slides down to our south and then eventually towards the southeast, towards Minneapolis and Chicago. On Monday, look for a mostly sunny sky across our region with 40s on the map. Could even hit 50 degrees in Sydney, Montana. Montana and in Williston, northwest North Dakota, 44 the forecast high on Monday in Bismarck. Then as we get later in the week, this big ridge of high pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere will slide over into the northern plains and that will lead to well above normal temperatures as we get later in the week. March overall has featured below normal temperatures on more days than it's featured above normal temperatures. So this will be a nice change of pace as we get into April as we see those well above normal temperatures by the middle to end of the seven day forecast could hit that 70 degree mark on next Friday and Saturday with some breezy conditions. All right, so we have some wintry weather to get through until we finally break through to spring. It'll be an awesome introduction to those 60s and 70s. I'm so excited. Thanks, Jacob. You're welcome.